Welcome back to Triple R, my friends, the channel that's serving up your favorite restaurant recipes. And since spring is in the air, we're gonna lighten it up in this episode. And I'm going to teach you how to make the salmon tostada salad from Bahama Breeze Restaurants. The salmon tostada salad from Bahama Breeze Restaurants is grilled salmon topped with a chimichurri, served on mixed greens with corn, black beans, and a tomato salsa, tossed in an island vinaigrette, and served with avocado and a crisp tortilla with melted cheese. There's a lot to unpack here in this recipe, so we need to get into it right away. But I first wanna give a quick shout out to two of my viewers, Loida and Carol. This video happens to be their recipe request. And so girls, I hope you enjoy the recipe. And if you happen to have a restaurant or a recipe that you'd like me to feature in an upcoming episode, go ahead and drop it into the comment section below. But make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that when your video comes up, you'll be notified. All right, let's get started with the homemade island vinaigrette dressing. Start with your olive oil, rice wine vinegar, orange juice, Dijon mustard, honey, minced garlic, minced shallots, Creole seasoning, and chopped fresh cilantro. I know that a lot of people have a real aversion to cilantro. I used to say that cilantro is like Tom Brady, you either love it or you hate it, but Tom Brady's not really relevant anymore, so I gotta come up with a new saying. <laughs> and if you're one of those people that just absolutely hates cilantro, anytime you see cilantro in this recipe, like for example in the dressing or the chimichurri, feel free to sub it out with either fresh basil, fresh tarragon, or fresh Italian parsley. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge until we're ready to use it. Italian flat leaf parsley, cilantro, extra virgin olive oil, rice wine vinegar, freshly squeezed lemon juice, kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, dried oregano, scallions, and minced garlic. Now pulse the chimichurri using your dice and chop option on your blender. Once the cilantro and the parsley have incorporated into the chimichurri, move to the puree function on your blender and puree until smooth. On parchment paper, place down your seven inch flour tortillas and then you wanna score each one of them. This is to prevent the tortillas from puffing up in the oven. Place the tortillas on a baking sheet and lightly spray with extra virgin olive oil. Now place these in a preheated 375 degree oven until lightly browned about five minutes. Start with one and a half pounds of fresh vine ripened tomatoes and you want the tomatoes to be seeded so go ahead and remove most of the seeds. And now just dice the tomatoes. Now add in your finely chopped red onion, your seeded and minced fresh jalapeno. I have a fire tongue so I'm going to use the entire jalapeno but just add it according to your taste. Finely chopped cilantro or Italian parsley or basil if you prefer. Now grate in fresh garlic, freshly squeezed lime, extra virgin olive oil, some kosher salt, and believe it or not, some Creole seasoning. I thought that was a little strange myself. I don't typically think of Creole seasoning when I think of salsa, but what do I know? I just cook online for a living, so. <laughs> All right, give this a good stir and refrigerate it until you're ready to use it. You know what, I'm gonna give this a taste first. I wanna see what this Creole seasoning is all about. I'm convinced. I don't know why it works, but it definitely works. All right, pop this in the fridge until you're ready to use it. After five minutes in the oven, your tortilla should be nice and crisp. I guess this is the point at which they become a tostada, according to Bahama Breeze. I always thought that a tostada was officially like a corn tortilla, but again, what do I know? Now you wanna sprinkle each one of your flour tortillas or tostadas, as Bahama Breeze refers to them as, with some finely shredded Mexican cheese blend. And then just pop this back in the oven until the cheese is melted. Season your salmon with kosher salt and sprinkle it with the Creole seasoning. And on a very hot skillet, saute your salmon until fully cooked or until an internal temperature of 145 degrees. I was not lying when I said that there's a lot to unpack in this recipe. <laughs> Oddly, some of my most labor intensive recipes are salads. Seems a little counterintuitive, but whatever. I take some of this gorgeous chimichurri, drizzle it over your salmon. Now you take your spring mix, you add in fresh cooked corn kernels, seasoned and drained black beans. You take your island vinaigrette dressing from the fridge and you drizzle it over the salad mix. Give it a nice toss. You wanna go ahead and put one of the tostadas down on your salad plate. This is actually a charger for those of you that recognize it. Top the cheese-laden tostada with some of the salad mix. Top that with the fresh garden salsa that you made. Your salmon goes right on top. I almost forgot, finish it with one half of a sliced avocado. Sort of fanning out. Uh, oh well, you know, you get the picture. 
and no, as much as some of you might like to see it, I am not gonna pick this up and eat it like a tostada. <laughs> I do have some dignity. <laughs> not very much, but what little I have left, I would like to preserve, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and try the salmon first. Oh yeah, that chimichurri. Let me try this island vinaigrette. If I'm being perfectly honest, I don't know how much the actual tostada adds to the salad. In my opinion, it can easily be left off. I mean, it's not bad. I don't see anybody picking this up and eating it like a tostada, unless you're an animal. In my opinion, the key components of this recipe are the island vinaigrette, it's top tier, and of course, the salmon with the chimichurri. As long as you got those elements, you're good. And that's a perfect temperature on that salmon. 145, delicious. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Carol and Loida, thank you so much for your request. Don't forget to leave your own personal request in the comment section. And you can find this full recipe, of course, with the instructions, but with the ingredient amounts on my website. And I'm putting it right here for you, restaurantrecipe-recreations.com. Couldn't be any easier. Until I see you all again, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all. And for more great recipes, check out right here.